Good morning, guys. Um, it's almost half past eight on a Monday morning, and I came from dropping off my daughter. It is so hot, Ugh. and I'm so sleepy. I slept five o'clock this morning, and it serves me right because I decided to drink a what is it a switch energy drink six o'clock in the evening last night and i could not sleep at all oh, i was tossing and turning the whole night um yeah so i actually i planned to do my daughter's laundry last weekend this past weekend on Friday until Saturday they went on a school camp while well, they were at school camping at school and doing this leadership thing and so usually what I do is if she goes to visit or when she used to go and visit when we were staying on our own and or us as well when I go and visit someone I like to wash everything when I come back of course except for shoes if they're not dirty uh, but everything I wash, even the clothes that we didn't use, I wash them because uh, I don't know what is attached to that from where we were. <laughs> so I like to wash everything. So I need to wash hair because um, she took her duvet. So I need to wash the cover, the pillowcase, and then the blanket she took there, and then all of her clothes. Um, I've already washed the dishes and everything because they were required to bring a couple of dishes and spoons and stuff. I washed those on Saturday already. And yeah, I had clothes and stuff. So that's what I wanted to do now. We'll see them in another bag where we put the duvet and the pillow in. So I put everything in that bag to separate it from the laundry that I already had here at home. So that's what I want to do today, this morning. And then later on, I want to try and make this, um, it's like a food sock thing. I'll show you guys, I don't know if you know about it, but yeah, it's like a food sock um, kind of a thing. So I'm going to make that for sort of like lunch, supper, but I'm going to make it early. And yeah, whoever feels like eating, they will eat. Yeah. That's, uh, and and then of course in between the other things that I'm gonna do, uh, like cleaning the house, the usual, and yeah, I hope you enjoy whatever I'm gonna be showing you today. Hi, Lady Gibby, I'm showing my hair. This thing off the window is ridiculous. It's better than everything off the window. Stop me walking. Mm. Okay. Okay. Give me that so. What? Just give me the black packet thing there. Finally. So. Finally. Finally. What? What about the comment? Oh yeah, you guys have been talking for a long time. Huh? You guys haven't been talking for a long time. Yeah, I guess we didn't love. Mama's gonna dress Pakistan, I have to be fast. 
đừng 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 bắt nào đã chưa why mom mm. can you say you're gonna take the party back I thought you were saying oh we don't believe him I don't know why he's still here. Hey, So after I spoke to you guys, I what? went to sleep. I'm vlogging. What is it? What do you want? Can you please uh, uh, sweep off this milli mill? Yeah, but sweep it off. Why is it on the floor? So yeah, I fell asleep and I woke up only um when i was about to go and fetch my daughter from school and i just came from there now and i'm gonna start with the laundry i am reluctant or i was because it started raining well it didn't rain but small little drops uh we just we just felt small little drops as we were coming from school but i think it stopped now it stopped now and yeah so i'm gonna start with that and then i wanted to show you guys uh this soap that i am using for the clothes right now um and then i want to ask you guys opinions about something because i don't know if you guys know about these fake products that people are using and they putting them inside the uh, you know the Unilever um, containers and then they claim that I don't know if they're claiming or what but um, this is the soap that I'm using and the only reason why I like this soap I don't have a problem with this soap because it is in a clear like this container is just like clear there's no label nothing and so this person is trying to push this business which is fine and the soap is really really nice and fine and it doesn't smell that strong and so far I've, a few times that i've used it it's it's working well it's washing the clothes well so i like it so we bought this soap from the same person that um my mother-in-law bought these from so you can see these products right everybody knows these products um unilever products uh, your sunlight soaps, your jigs, domestos, um, the fabric conditioner, handy andy, and they also bought this. Now everything in these bottles inside is fake, and they're using the containers from Unilever. Now I just think that this is like so so wrong somebody comes to south africa somebody new and they see these products because they get advertised a lot and we know we trust these products we've known them for a very long time and i use them quite a lot when i need to uh, clean around the house but i'm talking about the real original product of unilever not the fake uh stuff which is inside here and as you can see this is not the real sunlight that is supposed to be in this bottle this is not and if you look also on the consistency this is not the real thing and you won't be able to see from the other products because the containers are like um covered up like they're not transparent with this one where you can clearly see that it's fake everything is fake even the handy handy inside Like handy and it doesn't look like that i mean the camera doesn't do justice but if you know if you know about this kind of products um where people i mean i don't have a problem with people pushing 
and trying to get coin but you can use other containers don't use an already established company's containers and then pass it on as you know what i'm saying that product because now you're just diminishing the name of unilever so i don't know you guys have an opinion about this but i just think that it's very wrong you can just use your own containers and don't make people think that it's the real thing when it's really not so anyway yeah now i'm gonna do the dishes and then later on i'm gonna do some when i make some lunch and then the thing that i was talking about earlier the food sock this is the food sock that i was talking about so this one is chicken biryani and so this thing feeds about four people you just add water and it makes a meal for four i think some of them make meals for six people so my mother-in-law always comes with these i don't know where she gets it but you can get this as a um like uh you can start a business basically with these and sell it to people at a very low price uh the slow the low income uh communities and you can have this also as a business you can make money but at the same time uh people that cannot afford certain kind of or food or anything like that so they can really benefit from these and yeah so this is what we're going to have today and here at the back it does say that um it's just gonna focus that you can add some chicken with this thing and yeah you just have to cook all these ingredients you use that you just use boiling water and yeah and everything is done so the ingredients in here Ish. so this does include um soya and i hate soya i absolutely hate soya but they like it here so in order for me not to taste uh the soya i'm going to use um Not to taste the soya, I'm going to to use uh, tomato. I'm going to make basically like a tomato relish or a tomato gravy. Just to mask that taste of the soya because I hate that taste. I hate anything that is looking like or made to feel like. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that it's a fake of, um, what is it? it's an alternative probably if you can't afford like minced meat and long ago there was something called macon if you don't like to eat meat and stuff then you can have macon i'm like if you don't have the real thing you can afford the real thing just don't have it so this soya thing is just a fake of mince and so for me not to somebody's doing it feel like i'm taking shit because they like soya here and I'm the only one who just hates the thing because it is disgusting so I'm gonna try and mask that with the tomato gravy so yeah that's what I'm doing so now guys I don't know it's starting to rain again oh my goodness and I have already something running in there all those things now it's starting to rain. Ugh. As you can see, I don't know what to do. Hey. Hey, Hella. Hey, Hella. So for example, you look here, I've applied this um, fake sunlight and I put quite a lot in the beginning and now I find myself having to apply again because I still have quite a lot of dishes that are waiting in the queue for me to wash and I might have to apply again, you know, during this time because look, I still have quite a lot of dishes that i have to get through and i'm adding now yet a second round of this thing and look it was bought only like 
during the week last week and look at it already it's finishing so this is exactly what i'm talking about is fake products you pay like less but you end up using more of this thing quicker and you have to go back and buy again so This is some kind of spice. No. Mm. But yeah, there is um this in here as well. Just gonna let it cook. So my biryani is ready now. I'm going to dish it. As you can see the red things, I already did the tomato relish. Um, and I just transferred the rice into this pot where there was tomato relish. And then, yeah, just gonna wash the pot where I was doing it. And I had to drain the water. Stop it. So as you can see it's very gloomy outside 
and I decided to put my laundry out uh, hopefully before it rains tonight I'll take it down and it will be dry so yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you on the next one bye